engage your audience with the easiest PowerPoint trick, activating the laser pointer. This laser pointer can also be used as disappearing pen or as a spotlight. I'm Sarah from Inknome, and today let me first walk you through how to access PowerPoint's native laser pointer. Feel free to subscribe to the ClassPoint channel for more PowerPoint tips and tricks too. So once you're in slideshow mode and your presentation has started, to activate that laser pointer, I want you to hold down on the control key and then left click on your mouse. From there, you still have to hold down on your mouse to keep this laser pointer active. So if you prefer to not have to hold down your mouse key and turn your whole cursor into a laser pointer, we can actually click on the pen icon down on the left hand side of your screen and click laser pointer. So now your cursor is the laser, you can highlight what you need, but to remove the laser pointer, go back to the regular cursor, you have to go back into that pen and uncheck the laser pointer. So this is a bit cumbersome and there's no special effects. Well, besides changing the color of the laser pointer, which is located all the way back in edit mode, in slideshow, setup slideshow, and you have the option of one of these three colors. Now to more easily access the laser pointer and activate those special features like the disappearing pen and the spotlight, we're going to be using the free PowerPoint add-in ClassPoint. So ClassPoint can be downloaded and installed from classpoint.io. And once that's done, you'll be able to see the Ink No ClassPoint tab here in your PowerPoint ribbon. It has a lot of interactive features. However, we're just focusing on the laser today. So let's enter our slideshow. And to activate that laser, we just need to click on that laser icon and that's it. We have our laser ready to go. To further highlight a part of your slide and draw attention to it, you can just click and drag with the laser and it will add that disappearing ink right onto your slide. And if you want to further highlight information, you can activate that spotlight by clicking S on your keyboard or with that middle button on your mouse. From there, you can really call attention to different parts of your slide and impress your audience. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is that ClassPoint has this class code here in the top corner. So this is if you are having your audience join in to access those interactive quiz questions and receive live responses. So if you're just using ClassPoint for this laser pointer, we can actually remove this class code so it doesn't distract your audience. To do that, we'll go back into our edit mode, click on your user profile, and in settings, we can go to the slideshow tab here and just uncheck the show class code. Then next time when you go into your presentation, that class code will be gone. However, if you do want to know more about ClassPoint's interactive quiz questions and its different features, take a look at the video here. Or subscribe to the ClassPoint channel to get all information about ClassPoint and different PowerPoint tips and tricks.